Welcome all. Welcome. My name is Sabluka and welcome to another Technus Corner production. Today we've got a little unboxing video. What is it, should we say? Well, it's a three-way swivel head tripod produced by XCD Active and it's a three-way swivel head tripod. So if we have a closer look over here, we can see that um, it will retract to approximately 55 centimeters in length minimum and maximum it outtracks, if that is a word, to about 132 or 135 centimeters. And we're going to uh, have a look list features wise includes tripod travel bag, three way swivel head. So it's got a three way swivel head, uh, folded length 51 centimeters, max working height 131 centimeters, minimum working height 48.5 centimeters, low capacity of three kilos, adjustable legs, bubble level, quick release plate, gear, elevator, handle, camera, not included. And I believe it's got a universal mount for a, a camera as pictured here. So I'm hoping to God that the camera we've got is going to work fine with that. What camera do you ask? Picked us up a, a secondhand Lumix G 4K video recording camera essentially. It has not got that lens. It's just got the basic 14 to 45 mil lens, I believe, which we'll have to do for the time being. That's what's currently being displayed to you guys. And I'm a complete novice when it comes to setting it up. It's nowhere near completed regarding its setup. But getting back to the XCD Active, this supposedly got, this was set me back about $30 Australian. So what's that? About $22.50 or $23. Shouldn't be more than $24 American for you all. We, we're going to unbox it and we're going to chuck the camera on. What currently the camera is on so that you guys can have a, a bit of a look is just there. It's on a miniature tripod, but I want to put this Rio 4K once it gets RMA'd and fixed or replaced. I want to put that on on that on this stand here for as a secondary and this one can go into the kitchen uh, this uh, this camera that works better than the Brio frankly for the time being but with out a moment's further ado let us unbox this box look it's a nice box it's got it's all active you know it's got active dude right like it's it's a it's a bit weird when you think about it, because uh, it's got this guy, uh, and it's no one needs uh, like maybe they do a lot of GoPro stuff or, and you know action orientated stuff, but this ain't an action orientated stand. This is a small stand, even though it retracts to um, or extracts to 135 centimeters. And we'll open it up. I just need a knife of some sort, uh, some sort of tool. Cutting device would be great. Got something in me pocket over here. Trusty old uh, Swiss Army, or not Swiss Army, King Chrome, should I say? King Chrome, new Swiss Army. Look at that. Anyway, we've got that ready to go. It looks like uh, for, at first glance, if we have a look, that's that's a seal. That's that's sealed. Okay. This, on the other hand, looks like it's been opened already. So we're gonna find out what's, what the deal is. Um, yeah, it looks like it's been, uh, it's been opened already. So hopefully I haven't got some, something that's been a bit busted. Let's unbox what's in the box. So, carry case already in the carry case. Excellent. 
So let us uh, let us place this aside. I don't know where I'm going to pop it, just up over here. So we'll greet it with this nice carry case, which I uh, can go like so, I guess. So yeah, you got that, and then all I need is a, a bag for the camera. Um, I, I do have, you know, if I'm going out bush-wise or something, and I actually need a $600 lens as well, frankly. But let us uh, <laughs> unzip it. So little logo there, XCD. And um, other accessories people like to buy with them are things such as, I don't know how they managed to, but like your man Fratto. This, surprisingly, this little thing cost $20. This little thing, 20, 20 bloody dollars, people. And this will take your your phone, essentially, one side there or below. Uh, so you can hook that up and to the tripod. Uh, I, I use it on the other one, which essentially is a copy of things that cost about $30. I got it for about $9 from Big W. So uh, I had to go with JB Hi-Fi click and collect today because of, uh, we won't mention what, what it is, but oh look, it is packed though. It's packed. It's just neatly in. We'll see if there's anything else in there. No, nothing else. So we'll pop that aside there. And then we'll lift it up like so. And check that out. So, essentially, it, it got 4.8 stars everywhere I was looking regarding whoever was starring it. There's no instruction booklet, so hopefully if I just yank at it, it's not going to do anything to it. That seems to... That doesn't release anything in there. It's, that's a swivel part. So that just locks in like so. So to unlock it, it's very... At first glance, people... It's very like you can you can hear like a little bit of quality attached to it, which is really nice and refreshing um, for the price. I'm going to be probably extremely happy. We're probably going to have to extend it as high as we can at one stage, uh, and then I'll probably have to still have it on a stool to get level shots. Myself standing behind, say, the desk over there, perhaps which you guys can't see. So yeah, essentially, if uh, it's just a matter of getting used to the camera, so I apologize, y'all. So we can see that it's got a swivel mechanism over here, which will unlock. Uh, if I would undo it the whole way, I'm just worried what, what will happen so I'll make sure that I can pop it back in again and so that tilts there that und undoes undoes what All right, so we've got swiveling it, it's swiveling up. So that's the position it's, it's going to have to be in for standing purposes. I don't want it, I don't want to stuff the thread up. So it has to be loosened up essentially, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's got a level head as well. So you could, like I said, uh, feature wise, it's, it's got a leveling playing field or whatever you call them. I'm, I'm not, I'm clearly not someone who works with my hands in that sort of a fashion. I probably could, um, I, I tried to when I was younger. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to extend this as high as we can for the time being. Oh, so they just unlock like so. There we go. And then lock into place again. So one un unlocks like so. So it's pretty convenient. So I guess it's not rocket science. So um, probably instructions are, are, are useless, but instructions would have come in handy just so that, you know, a child doesn't hurt themselves or something. You know what I mean? So now 
if we pop it on the on the ground it comes up to about so high uh, so that's almost waist height uh, for the majority of folk uh, in in this day and age um, so that's pretty decent you are restricted to it being a, a set height um, I'm just wondering whether this what exactly that does it makes it even higher still are you kidding me because uh, now if we pop this down here that's that's probably about one meter 35 i don't know what i'm tripping on because uh, i am i'm only like 180 something so um i guess that's 135 but we can get a real good view on it takes up it does take up a lot of space it takes up about probably three feet diameter or four feet diameter so that's something to consider uh, it, putting it out uh, this high but for purposes of setting up shop I don't even have to get a stool for it I don't believe I think it's just the perfect height uh, frankly so um, we'll see it here so what we might do is I might take a pause and get the get the camera set up per se uh, in a fashion that we can get the Brio set up so that we can have a look at this on the desk. Currently, like I said, there's this makeshift sort of thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it down to its smallest, most compact spot. And at least I know that realistically, it definitely like you know, you, you angle this up, downwards, to the side. There we go. So that will raise it then substantively as high as you need it to go um, on, a, on a real level playing field. So you can level it out completely. And then that is, that's, that's uber high guys. I'm gonna stand up it's almost to my nipples or my breast or regions and yeah that's that's i'm i'm very happy it's very light not flimsy in the way that it like you can hear it like you can hear the pressure like it's like a space subtle like a shoe you know but it it is you know, probably putting some sort of uh, larger rubber stoppers on the bottom side of it might be an option. Some weights might be necessary if you're ever in a high sort of wind environment. Weights around the base themselves or perhaps just on on this, this part here. Just placing some sort of weight to hold it down just to make sure that it doesn't... Because the, the camera will be quite light in that sort of a position. You probably don't want it to drop. So it was a good buy in the end uh, for the price. I, I can't complain. All you pros out there will tell me otherwise, but A, so uh, XCD, seems like XCD active, three-way swivel head tripod. We're gonna connect the camera up and we'll, we'll give you guys an image of it with the camera connected in a second. Okay guys, so um, apart from the focusing and that, I do have to set all that up, the automated stuff, the whatnot. Um, for the uh, Lumix G7. Thanks for coming on the ride with me. We've got our three-way swivel head tripod active and it's in a good position. Um, I'm sorry about the mess in the room per se and whatnot, but we'll pop that over here so you guys can get it. It's otherwise known as uh, XCD or Exceed active. Exceed active, XCD guys and yeah for 29 dollars i think they're exclusive to jb hi-fi and uh yeah i i can't go wrong i'll show you guys right now real quickly uh through the brio so she's just up there as you guys can see and that's the picture it's taking so it's not miss it's 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 missing all of that and if we go back to the full picture preview 
Um, you guys can have a look and see that I've got that back with that front light and that light over there um, ready to go for when I'll need light on me um, as opposed to backlighting and the blue lighting and any other lighting that I can change colors and whatnot um, to uh, add some ambience into a room. But uh, that's pretty cool because uh, you guys can see uh, I use the 4K monitor now. I play 4K gaming per se, 1440p on only 60 hertz. It's a QLED. Uh, that's my old 4K LED, and I use both of them for work as well, like uh, pictures and things like that. I need lots of uh, real, estate, real estate space. And that this one on the side here is sort of like always off to the side, always got some sort of uh, clip going or now with the camera right there I'll be able to read and look at the camera if I've got a script actually done rather than look off to the side guys so going back to the view the full view of it again I apologize for the focus and all that I, I do have to get those settings done but the XCD or Exceed active three-way swivel head tripod from JB Hi-Fi I give it a thumbs up guys and contactless uh, trade at the moment with JB Hi-Fi so you guys can still go grab that stuff and I would suggest it if there's a store near you rather than go with the post because currently the post is three to four weeks away even domestically so peace out y'all <laughs>